Hey guys, so I'm still a little sick, but I'm going to be trying to make two videos today. The first is on the La Vientia's Special Accessories event. I'm sure you've noticed that you've been getting brand new rewards every day for these. If I open up a black desert here, you can see once a day, as long as you play for one hour, you get 10 silver powder, 5 gold powder, 2 big diamonds, 2 ancient pearls, and 20 La Vientia's rings. This will happen from the 1st of March until the 21st of March, which means in total you will get 42 of the Ancient Pearl and the Big Diamond. This is important because these are the two hardest items to grind for in an hour of grinding, well, hour and a half really. This is what I've gotten so far. So it's pretty difficult to get, I haven't got a single Ancient Pearl, only one Big Diamond. So it's kind of difficult to get enough if you want multiple of the big items. Now what big items, you might be asking? Well, good question. So how this event works is through simple alchemy. You use these items that we get every day to, as well as you can get them from gathering, fishing, and grinding, and you use them to make items. So to make a silver ring, you use 10 of the Lavientras and 10 silver powder. For a gold ring, 10 Lavientras ring and 5 gold powder. And then to make the diamond rings, you just use one of the rings you already made, and you slot in a diamond. Then you can go even further and bring a diamond and three of the ancient pearls to get a splendid box. This only works as a silver diamond ring and it'll give you, it can give you anything on this list but most likely like a cron stone or maybe a shard or a maybe a soiled item. There's very little chance of getting the good stuff but you can get it. Then you can also use ten of the gold rings and ten ancient pearls to get a fancy box. Ooh. Fancy. To get a Seraphs, a Witches, a Mark of Shadow, or a Necklace. So here the average price that you'll be getting items for is about 3 to 12 mil, and if you get lucky you'll get a Seraphs. And then, if you, you can get this once in the entire event because to get it you need 10 Splendid Boxes and 10 Ancient Pearls. 10 Splendid Boxes is 30 Ancient Pearls, the Shiny Box takes another 10, and that means that the 42 you'll have gotten over the entire event if you're in line every day for an hour is only 42, so that's 40 of the 42 taken, which will give you a Lavientra's shiny box, which can get you an Ogre Ring, a Tungrad Earring, a Bazzi Belt, or a Ring of Crescent Guardian. So this is a fine accessory box. Now, realistically, what you're going to want to do is if you're on online every day, simply go for the shiny box. It's got the best guaranteed uh, conversion rate. It gives a bunch of good stuff, like there's no real harm to go in. I would not go for the fancy box unless you don't uh, get enough of the ancient pearls for the shiny box, just because the fancy box has a much lower average amount of money, and you can only do it four times anyways. So it's not really as worth it. You can open the diamond rings. So this the diamond rings have much worse items in them than the boxes do, but they're not terrible either. You've got witches, Ben shows, Marco Shadow, and Blue Coral as the as well as the concentrated black stones as the things you're after in both of them. And then it goes down to soils, golden items, spellbounds, horse gear, and, well, elixirs, as well as normal armors, uh, armor stones. So, I mean, nothing really special. I would definitely make the boxes with those. However, there is a little quirk in this event, and that is that these two items can work as alchemy stones, pretty much. They're basically like discount alchemy stones that you don't need to... Uh, refresh. The Silver Ring is a combat one. Attack speed plus 2, Casting speed plus 2, Movement speed plus 2, All AP plus 5, All Accuracy plus 5. And the Gold Ring is a, a life skill one. It's got Energy Recovery plus 1, Gathering plus 2, Movement speed plus 2, and Weight Limit plus 100 LT. So I'm not sure if we get to keep these after the event though because... Oh, also, when making the Silver or Gold Ring, so the first two, there is a small chance to make two rings instead of one, similar to the memory fragment event that we had where we could use those little shards to make memory fragments, uh, similar to that. <clears throat> so the event ch challenge will run from March 1st to March 21st before the maintenance. Uh, they'll reset all at midnight every time, so with server reset. And so here are the important things. The reward items given out during events given may or may not be bound depending on each item, so get them on your mains. Uh, and the real important one is after the event period, the event items and challenge will be removed from the game. And you can no longer process event items. Please use your event items before the end of the event period. 
So you'd think that would mean the, the quasi-alchemy stones would be gone, but it then says the items you get from right-clicking the following event items will not be removed. Silver diamond ring. <clears throat> so the alchemy stones are going to disappear, unfortunately. Uh, but anything you get from these will stay. Don't worry, if you'll get them, you get to keep them. Uh, but don't expect that you can keep the alchemy stone replacements. They are gone on March 21st, according to what it says at the bottom. Uh, event details and period may change with further note, future notice, though, so you might, you might be able to keep them. So I would keep one just in case, but I would not stock up on them and hope to be able to keep them for alts because they're probably going to disappear. So what I would recommend is simply go for the shiny box. It's the best one. Uh, I would just claim all the items. So over here, I would just wait to claim all of these until the 21st. Or the, well, the 20th would be the best day, because on the 20th is when you can actually make the shiny box. Wait to that day to claim it, and in the meantime, grind, gather, and fish, and try to get items for the others. If you can, uh, it might be a good idea to try and make as many of these gold and silver diamond rings, and if you get lucky and get some ancient pearls, make a few sp extra splendid boxes as well, and try to get some extra stuff from this. The splendid boxes are actually pretty good, it's just the shiny box is even better. But the Splendid Box are not bad, and if you can make a few extra Splendid Boxes with items that you get over the course of the event, that's not a bad idea. Otherwise, before the event ends, try to make as many of the Diamond Rings as you can, and just open all of them once you've already made your Shiny Box and any fancier Splendid Boxes you might be able to make. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. That's the Lavientia Accessory Event. Lavientia's Special Accessories. Uh, hope you get some good stuff from your boxes on the 20th, 21st. And have a good one.